Hello everyone and welcome once again to SALCC Updates, a program where we bring you news, events and tell you more about the program offerings at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. My name is Natalie Jolie Fanis and it's a pleasure to be here with you once more. If you are viewing for the first time, thank you so much for joining and please tell someone else that there is news on our premier tertiary institution where they can come to upgrade their skills. We are on NTN every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. with a repeat on Saturdays at 6 p.m. And you can also find our programs on YouTube, so feel free to share. And what's happening at South Lewis Community College, as usual, every week there is something happening. We have just culminated our activities for the Nobel Laureate Festival. And as we said last week, South Lewis Community College is a forerunner in this festival, being named after the first Nobel Laureate. So we culminated our activities with a poetry slam that was dubbed Word Up 2022. It was organized by the Hunter J. Fassois Library. And if you missed it, again, it is available on the Government of St. Lucia YouTube page as well as the college's YouTube page. But we wanted to bring you some highlights from that poetry slam because it was indeed a showcase of our students' talents. So before we join our guest today to tell us about a more exciting program that the college is, is becoming a part of, we want you to take, out, take on these highlights from the Word Up Poetry Slam for 2022. Hello everyone and welcome to the Word Up Poetry Slam 2022. We are here live at the Cultural Center awaiting the finals and the winner who will emerge out of this competition. My name is Natalie Julie Fanis and it is a pleasure to be your host for this event. Just breathe, you see. The four walls mock me as they inch closer and closer. It's all right. You'll be fine. It's going to be okay. Conversations in the dark have the tendency to spark relationships so deep that we lose even our will to sleep. Quicker then we lose our appetite when our life is blown apart like dynamite. Even faster than we lose our creativity when put in the face of adversity. My dear brown skin girl, my sweet Coco twin, do you know from head to toe, like the sun, melanin shines bright through your skin? Do you know it is that melanin, your pure heart of gold, thick chocolate lips? First, it was great. The hugs, the kisses, the dates. Her love became his nutrients. He needed her to survive. The effect she had on him was like the moon luring the tides, leading him to believe he needed her more than she needed him. Like leaves clinging to the sun's rays, like the earth's thirst for rain. Cueing the overthinking, the nitpicking at small irrelevant details that meant nothing. I will get my justice, I will get my justice. The judge calls my name. And now they will hear my case. My heart starts to tremble, my mouth starts to rage. 40 minutes after the defense supported my father's offense. So help me, Father, for I swear on this Bible, this man shall never see old age. A master class by the master. When I say master, you say class. Master, master, master. Let's get to work. So in math, time for some stats. We have a 16% crime rate. That could be because of the 12.5 rates of VAT, or maybe just that the country in a state. 17% of people unemployed. Remember the times when you enjoyed the joy of receiving new toys? There she stands. Eyebrows arched, arms crossed, decked out in robes of... Your bris, and here I am, 
gazing at her from a distance. I can feel the vibrations of her repelling glare, willing intimidation and fear. But fear is only false evidence, appearing real, and so I approach. It was supposed to be a run-of-the-mill Saturday night, Netflix plus comfort plus the breeze of my fan equals heaven. A rush drives my fingers as I sign in, only to be rejected with incorrect password, a churning in my stomach, a truth too hard to swallow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mr. Congeniality Award goes to Jade Thomas. So the People's Choice Award, sponsored by Trophy Center, goes to none other than Mr. Kalem James. How you Melanie Richard in third place, ladies and gentlemen. With a total, after its average, total out of 50, all three judges, 37.5 out of 50. My brown skin girl is on the stage. There's real pain in that poem. John Tench, ladies and gentlemen, real pain. Second place, a student studying law in our CAPE program. He went up at number eight and obviously made an impact. Congratulations, John Tench, in second place. Come a little to the middle, yes. Photographer, position them where you will. What did he do? He did something. He came here and he did something. He had a? Exactly. You're really bright. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, give it up. Mr. Calum James. <laughs> Mr. Calum James, ladies and gentlemen, second year student in our CAPE program. Congratulations to the eight finalists and to the winners. They all did well. And like I said, if you missed it, be sure to check it out on our YouTube page and that of the government of St. Lucia. And now we turn our attention to our in-studio guest. We are talking today the Gateways program, in particular the French Gateways program. And with me is Fabrice Terrier, who is the consultant for Unite Caribbean and Brent St. Catherine, who is the head of the South Louis Community College Gateways Program. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank being you. <laughs> here with me today. So Brent is not a newcomer to, to our program. Yeah. He's been here several times, and we have spoken about the Gateways Program before, Brent. Yeah. But just remind our audience, particularly if they knew, mm -hmm. tell us, what is the Gateways Program about? All right. Um, the Gateways program, program sorry, is a very ambitious initiative to create hands-on entrepreneurship training for St. Lucians. So um, it's something that has, it, it's new, it's novel, because um, one of the focuses is prototyping, which hasn't been done on a large scale. So we look at prototyping, and from that, we build businesses around that. So we want to give everybody the best fighting chance to have a successful business. So in a nutshell, that is what the Gateways uh, to Global Entrepreneurship Program is all about. And just as, as a follow-up, you said it, it, it's novel. Can you mm -hmm. tell us how long the college has been running this program? All right, so um, it started last year with a small cohort of 12 students. And these students, um, they got lectures from people like Harvard University. Um, Arizona State University is actually a partner to us, and they're like the number one institution for innovation in the United States. Well, I don't know for now, but the last six years, they had the most prototypes and so forth. So we had good partners behind us delivering seminars and so forth. Also, we had a summer internship program that was fully funded by the World University Service of Canada, um, where our young entrepreneurs would go out, meet suppliers, work with agricultural people, bureau 
of standards and so forth. So um, there are a lot of elements. Uh, I missed out one. They did an eight-week course on design thinking, which is uh, very <coughs> new again to St. Lucia in terms of producing entrepreneurs, because this is where you teach them how to think outside the box and create not only for the local environment, for, but for the global environment. So we have packaged all these nice things into an entrepreneurship program. So yeah, started last year. So that we can segue to Febreze. How did it move from gateways to French gateways? <laughs> you start, start right, and then we will get him to talk about United Caribbean. Okay. So it, it's a partnership with the French? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, French gateways to global careers. Well, first of all, the French like our program. Um, but to be fair, uh, Unite Caribbean, as well as our other partners, they had a previous conversation with Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, and they just wanted to offer French, vocational French training. Um, and, and this was done with uh, Tracy George, Dr. Keith Nurse, Kurt Harris, and so forth. They made the initial conversations. The idea was pitched, however, in, uh, where, whereby it was said, why don't we upgrade it? Apart from French, and French has already been done, why don't we broaden the scope? And then we came up with French gateways to global careers. Great. So we added vocational French to entrepreneurship to create this entrepreneurship program that can translate throughout the French and the English-speaking Caribbean territories. Excellent way to segue to Fabrice. Fabrice, start off by telling us a little bit about Unite Caribbean. Yeah, um, we are a Caribbean consultative team uh, focusing on cooperation and development around the Caribbean area. So for us, it's very interesting to work on this project. It's a project fully funded by the French Embassy, so we are the um, implementing agency uh, for this project. And yeah, it's very important for us to create a French gateways program mm -hmm. with a collaboration with Guadeloupe, Martinique, and St. Lucia, because it's really interesting to create cooperation with St. Lucia, United States, Canada, but Martinique, it's really near of St. Lucia, yeah. so we have to work together. So I know that United Caribbean, we, this is in education, but I know that you do other projects. You just want to give us a little background ab about um, the other projects that you're involved yeah, in? Yeah, of course. So we were uh, created in 2017. And in four years, uh, we work in different areas, like climate change, um, water and waste management, economic and social development, and um, uh, governance and civil society. For example, we are the uh, implementing agency for REPLAS project. Yeah. So we are here and we, we try to implement a plastic recycle uh, in St. Lucia and we try to re replicate it in uh, Grenada. Oh, great. Yeah, these are excellent projects. And, yes. and, and, and Brent, I can see you're excited yeah. about some of these other things that you're hearing uh -huh. um, coming up. Um, so give us a little bit of the process. So mm. the relationship was initiated. Yeah. Um, and what happened next? How did, how did we mold this into a program? OK. Um, well, Fabrice will tell you it was a lot of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, we, we had to find a, a bridge between the French program and the English um, entrepreneurship program. And um, fortunately for us, United Caribbean was fully aboard as the consultants. Um, they did some of the prior negotiations, got the funding for us uh, through the French government. And um, the first thing we did was that we got two of our Alpha Lewis Community College lecturers to do a, a three-month program, I believe it was, to <coughs> learn how to deliver the business uh, vo French vocational training. So already our capacity was built through them. Okay. The other thing we did was on our side, we created a structure that included not only our le local lecturers, but um, overseas experts. Uh, we also included in the structure a travel trip where our students could go overseas, get immersed, meet other business owners, and so forth from the overseas environment. So we tried to do everything to 
develop a full program that didn't have too much of just French, too much of just our entrepreneurship, but a perfect marriage. How long will the program run for? The program will run for um, one year, okay? And uh, we, it's pretty much modular. Uh, the French vocational training um, with business knowledge, where business, we teach students about business negotiations, jargons, and so forth. So these are the French classes, will last for one year. However, the other entrepreneurship components, such as um, introduction to the entrepreneurship process, um, developing your business plan, running your business, and so forth, these will all be done in um, different uh, modular periods. Okay. Yeah. So Fabrice, um, on, the, on the end of Unite Caribbean, mm -hmm. um, I think Brent spoke to what the college was really responsible for. Can you tell us what the process was for you, even in terms of identifying South Louis Community College as the institution that you would run this program through? Yeah, of course. So um, we are uh, a Caribbean consulting firm with two kinds of services. The first one is project design, and the second one is consulting. So when we arrive uh, in this project, the first step was to uh, to do a diagnostic of uh, the scope of the project. The second step was to do uh, an analysis of the labor market demand and what is the vocational training offer in Saint Lucia. The first step, the, yeah, the third step will be to do partnership uh, with um, for Lewis because you are the only. Uh, yeah, so and we, we did a partnership with Alliance Francaise too mm -hmm. to build uh, a, a French module for the students and to train the French teacher from South CC. Um, after that, uh, we, we, we create, uh, we participate to the design with South CC of the syllabus of the program and Tomorrow we ready for the lunch, so <laughs> it was our steps for uh, our side. Okay, so great. So I'm hearing that with Alias Frances and the lecturers, the French lecturers, the lecturers who teach French yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. at the South Louis Community College, yeah. the curriculum was designed for this mm -hmm. program. Um, so Brent, mm -hmm. help us here. In terms of the entrepreneurial side or the entrepreneurship right. side, did that come from the, the training that Ali has provided, or were our business lecturers also involved in that? No. Um, okay. So Alliance Frost is, is responsible for well was responsible for the French component where it came to um, came down to training the lecturers, mm -hmm. but they also going to see about um, the content as well as quality assurance when it comes to the students. So they will be monitoring the whole process for the twelve months of French Gateway in terms of French training, okay? But um, the business component will be done mostly by, by our lecturers, but we will be inviting guest speakers from overseas and I anticipate via Zoom given the, <laughs> the present climate. So um, yes, Allianz Frances is a French component. We are responsible for the rest. Okay. Um so I, I hear you talking about inviting people via Zoom. Mm -hmm. What is the format for offering this to the students? Is it in person? Is it all online? Okay. What, what is the format that we're going to be using? Maybe if I can start the answer, it, it could be in, in person and online. Mm -hmm. And yes, we did a great partnership with uh, Sir Arthur Lewis and a great partnership with Alliance Francaise, but we're looking for partnership with private sector too. So we want to create a, a strong link with the educational sector and the private sector. So we will invite a uh, lecturer from uh, companies from Guadeloupe and Martinique, and if they they can come to Saint Lucia, it will be a pleasure. But if they can uh, record something online, it works too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're looking at more of a blended format yeah, so. in in terms of the teaching, mm -hmm. and um, as it regards internships, I think I heard you speak of internships yeah. for the students. Well, I, I want to add to what um, Fabrice was saying. So it is a blended approach, and there's some things that we don't want to do online. For instance, prototyping. So. Um, the French Gateways program focuses on hospitality and tourism and food creation. These are the primary areas where we're looking to provide entrepreneurship training. And of course, with food creation, we need people to be in the kitchen, creating the prototypes and so 
forth. So that part has to be in person. Um, the other thing we are hoping to do is we want them to run their own business whilst doing the program. So we want to organize a day in which all the participants come out, showcase their product, and sell products. So that is all part of the experience. Um, of course, the internship has to be in person. Um, we want our students to visit uh, the various businesses here. Um, I can mention some of the names. One of them is like the distillery. The distillery is French owner. Uh, we want them to visit like Bon Baguette. Bon Baguette is also French owned and so forth, as well as some local businesses around the industries that I mentioned. Now Fabrice, I know you're actually coming off a trip um, from Guadeloupe. Yes. Um, was it to secure a businesses there as well for the students to enter? Yes, uh, we, we met a uh, different uh, company really interesting like uh, Café uh, La Grivelière, we met uh, uh, Lebanon Vert, so it's a French, <laughs> French <laughs> company, but uh, it's a touristic and agricultural company in Guadeloupe, and the goal is to organize a study visit in Guadeloupe and Martinique for the 15 students, and they, during this um, uh, this study visit, they will be able to visit different kind of company in Guadeloupe and Martinique. Okay, so what has the response been like from businesses in the first place to mm. partner with you to offer that kind of training? Mm. How, how have you found? For me, uh, in Martinique and in Guadeloupe, all the businesses I met were very excited by the project because it's the same thing. I don't know for St. Lucia, but in Martinique and Guadeloupe, they are very excited to create a new program uh, of cooperation with St. Lucia because we have the same problem in the French West Indies. Some people uh, want to, to go in Europe or want to go in the French part of Canada. And it's very important for us to create a strong cooperation with the Caribbean uh, countries. What about uh, at your ad hoc? Do you agree with, with Fabrice in terms of the partnerships? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, even the organizations down here have already started pledging resources and services. Um, for the open entrepreneurship day we want where the students sell and showcase their products. Um, a lot of companies want to come on board and even set up some of their own booths and stuff, but also provide us with resources. So, um, so far the business community has been very receptive, yeah. So great, so that's at the, at the business end. So yeah. the students definitely have somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. What was the response though when you threw out this offer to young people in St. Lucia? Mm -hmm. um, I know you had a limit, but, but tell us about when the ad went out, what the response oh, okay. of young people was. was. Okay, um, overwhelming. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you, Fabrice and, and United Caribbean, they were panicked. You sure people will be interested and we'll get enough people? <laughs> and yeah, within a month, um, we surpassed the quota by about 30 students. <laughs> so um, we had to narrow it down. And uh, with, in partnership with Alliance Frances, we created um, an assessment, oral comprehension, um, written and so forth. And we conducted an interview with the applicants and we came down to the final of 15 so we have the best of the best but uh, very good reception a lot of people applied and unfortunately we only had 15 spots but we have 15 very good candidates yeah and just if I can add something we were surprised to see uh, how how many people are excited to learn French and to create a company with a focus with the cooperation with Guadeloupe and Martinique so we, we, we saw very good profile with uh, a uh, very good pro, uh, entrepreneurial project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So was there a criteria for, for the applicants? Because you had to choose the yeah. 15. What, what, what were you looking for in the students? Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah, I can ahead, answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're looking for three things. Uh, we're looking for uh, students with already a uh, French level. Um, we're looking for students with uh, motivation for, um, for entrepreneurial process and motivation we to create something with a link with the French overseas territories. Okay, so they must have had a certain level mm -hmm. of French. Yes. Yeah, and I guess that would be more than basic, huh? you were looking for? Yeah, it yeah. was the A2 level. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, great. Um, so, only 15 spots. Mm -hmm. 
uh, what about the other people who are hearing about this and the mm. other applicants possibly who might still want an opportunity? Is this just the first phase? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can start. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a pilot project for this time, for our 2022. But we want to create something really big or really nice mm -hmm. uh, that can continue in the future. So um, yeah, for this time it's just 15 because we have to organize a study trip in Guadeloupe and Martinique and more than 15, it could be complicated. And uh, for this time we're looking for uh, students with already an A2 level in French, so mm -hmm. it's not uh, easy to, to have this uh, level. But yeah, maybe uh, next year and in the future we can, we, we will have a cohort with more students. Okay, great. I, I want to give an opportunity, and I know you've mentioned them, for you to speak specifically to the partners, um, mm -hmm. the major partners involved, and what their roles are in, in this um, French gateways. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe I can say. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, please. <laughs> uh, the main partners, uh, of course, it's uh, the French Embassy uh, in Saint Lucia and the French Embassy for all the OECS countries. Uh, we want to say thank you to them uh, for their support in cash and kind because they were uh, very, very uh, um, uh, help helpful mm -hmm. for the project. Uh, we want to mention our partnership with Alliance Francaise too uh, because uh, they did a great work for uh, the training of the teacher in French. Uh, from South City, but they, they trained over teachers too. And uh, we want to say thank, thank you to the St. Lucia Distillery. We want to say thank you to all the partners uh, uh, we met in Guadeloupe and Martinique for their support in this project. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So Brent, given mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. support that you have, what are your expectations, especially on behalf of the college for this program? Okay. Um, Similarly to the original Gateways unit, um, when we started off, there were a lot of people who didn't know if it would work or not. And the program is now blossoming. Apart from this, we have another um, Gateways program coming up that probably has over 300 participants. So we want the same type of response. We start out with a small cohort, but we want this to continue into the future. We want it to be sustainable. So what we're going to do, we want to maintain the partnership with Unite Caribbean and all the other partners that Fabrice has mentioned. Um, we also want to leverage the resources of the business community. Um, we see this as a great program. It is groundbreaking. It is the first a French entrepreneurship program is not only about schools and the college. As you mentioned, this is the French government. This is Martinique. This is Guadeloupe. This is St. Lucia. And we want to leverage that relationship. We want to build on it. And we want to make sure that it continues. We want to do our part in strengthen, strengthening the ecosystem, the entrepreneurship ecosystem among the countries I mentioned. OK, great. So Fabrice, on Thursday, February 3rd, is the official launch of the program. Um, and after that, just tell us a little bit about the start date for the students. Yes, uh, so we are very happy to uh, to, as, <laughs> to have this launch event on uh, Thursday, uh, February 3rd. Mm -hmm. And why it is this week? Because it's uh, the start of uh, the program for the students. So they will have the French classes in technical French, and they will start the entrepreneurial uh, classes too. Yeah, uh, although the launch, if I may add, although the launch is on Thursday, uh, the actual classes start on the 7th. The 7th. The seventh. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to uh, see this launch event, uh, we will do a live streaming. So we will, uh, we will uh, do that on our uh, Facebook page of Unite Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So if you can be uh, come in St. Lucia, you can go to United Caribbean Facebook page. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, our time is up. Gentlemen, I want to well. thank you so very much for <laughs> joining me here today mm -hmm. and for giving so much information about this new and exciting program that can only open up opportunities for our young people. You have been watching SALCC Updates. So stay tuned. Next week we will be here and join us on the Facebook page of Unite Caribbean and also of the SALCC for the official launch of the French Gateways program. My name is Nasli Julie Fanis. See you.
see you next week.